you're not playing to compete with anyone let's be for here you're playing if you enjoy the game now as you can see it is day one and if y'all haven't noticed already my level is 28 you might be wondering how the heck did i get to level 28 day one well i'm gonna tell you exactly how so you don't mess up if you reroll. what you want to do what is imperative is that you don't touch your gates the way to do it is you want to download this game on your phone right and when you download the game on your phone after you beat the tutorial and all that reset that account now before you do anything what you're going to do here is go into your settings go to redeem code here and then the code is hunter pass first you're going to use that there and it's going to give you two tickets you get 20 pulls and all by doing this method so you're going to come over to the banner here you're going to have 15 tickets get two ssrs or you can even be greedy and go for three three is pushing it personally but if you're going to be rolling anyway do it i'd say the more the better for weapons i would definitely say the plume sword the uh ssr pistol and then the ssr grimoire the grimoire is insane my friend has it i've watched them play with it those would be my top three recommendations for weapons for the units emma and the light tank dude now once you get two ssrs to your liking or three ssrs to your liking if it's a weapon you're going to get it to level 40 as fast as you can this is going to be your main weapon you're going to keep using that weapon majority of the time you don't even got to worry about the sub weapon you really don't you can get it to level 20 you can max it if you want but you don't got to really worry about it too much you shouldn't really even feel any type of stuck unless you're gated by exp or unless uh you're doing you know a chapter where it's like a little hard right you know you could probably beat it if you tried it 20 times but you know you could do with artifacts boom honestly i would just run it the 20 times some people aren't like that so that's when you can start running the encore dungeons but uh personally if you want to min max and get like the best results here once you get a weapon and or hunter or if they're both weapons or if they're both hunters you're gonna max out the whatever you got you see i got four of them leveled up well five i kind of stopped leveling um jinho i might keep using them oh you see i got my two ssrs that i got leveled up same with my weapons both leveled up um so another reason you also skip the tutorial is because it doesn't force you to actually use one of your runs on the gates when you do the tutorial it actually does make you do a gate run here but when you skip the tutorial right you still have all of your gate runs so that's another benefit of um skipping the tutorial versus actually playing it it's just better overall because for one you get the 10 tickets that would have been used to pull for that mage the one-armed mage the, they're they're not used so that's another benefit of doing the reroll tactic there or it could be that you actually got those 10 tickets after but from my memory from what i remember from when i started playing the game you didn't get a free 10 pull out the gate you had to use your gems because you only had five from the login so i'm fairly positive that when you do that restart the tickets that you would use in the first 10 pull to get the sr one-handed fire guy you get so you're gonna come in the game with 15 tickets in total if you you know get that login if you get the the hunter pass first uh, redeem code you get 15 tickets you can do your two pulls boom you're good rush that story and the reason you're gonna rush your story is because depending on your cp your battle power whatever the heck you guys want to call it you know what i'm saying your battle rating is going to determine what level your gates can be the higher level your gates the higher the exp you're gonna get maximize that exp once they're in the 20 uh ranges i do believe like a flat level 20 i'm pretty sure it was around 400 exp you shouldn't struggle at all you should be able to get to 21 damn near immediately playing in the first day if i could have played all today how i want to do and that wasn't working i definitely would have hit level 30 easily level 30 level 33 so um, i'm very excited to spread this because i want to see how far you guys can take it i want to see the people that like that really do all the min maxing and everything i want to see how far you can take it with the levels there like what's the true cap that you guys can reach before reset so let me know in the comments down below because this is a rather short video i wasn't going to be going over too much here just how to you know maximize re-rolling and starting a new account for those of you who are probably unwary and wanted to because you feel stuck like i did or if you just wanted to reroll just to see if you could you know get a better account overall which was one of the other reasons aside from being stuck <laughs> but yeah leave a like and go check out Vulcan's re-roll guide bye bye